Hello and welcome to WooCommerce plugin series of Quick Tips. In this series of videos, I will show you all the details about WooCommerce plugin to create e-commerce website. If you are new to my channel, then do subscribe to the channel to get the quick tips on website design, search engine optimization and social media marketing tools. So let's start with the video. All right, so in the last video, we added a simpler product to the WooCommerce website. Uh, that was a shirt with the white color and uh, in this video we are going to create variations of this particular shirt and this shirt will be in two colors and with three different sizes so we are going to add size and color variation for this particular product now let's see how does this work now go to the products we are going to edit this product that we added in the last video click on edit so right now it is listed as simple product we are going to change it to a variable product okay now inventory is as it is if you want you can change it or we will change it later also now go to attributes now we need to create an attribute okay now click on add we are going to add attribute the first attribute will be size and we will be adding three different sizes First one is small, let's have it as S, then vertical bar, then medium, space, vertical bar, and large, L for large. Okay, so these are the three sizes of the shirt, and we are going to use this for a variation. So check this box, click on save attributes. Okay, we are going to add one more attribute that is color. So click on add name the attribute as color and right now we have white vertical bar and then black so these are the two variations of the colors you can add as many as you wish now check this box used for variations and click on save attributes okay so these are the two attributes okay these are saved now let's update it okay we have added the attributes now go to variations okay now here select this option create variations from all attributes that we have already added so click select that option and click go are you sure yes so you can see that six variations are added so three sizes and two colors so it will be six variations so you can see that small white small black medium white medium black large white and large black so this is how all the attributes are added now if you want to change the setting of individual product you can change it from here you can click on this and here you can add sku enabled price if you want to keep the same price you can keep the same price for all the products let me show you uh, this one we are going to use it manually regular price 500 and sell price 400 okay you can add this uh, information later on we will go through this shipping information also so right now we are looking at these uh, basics of the products now uh, let's see for the black we are going to increase the price 500 and make it 450 okay now medium white we will keep the same price 500 400 for the black we are going to uh, increase the price so that we will see how the different prices will look so this is how you can add the pricing for each product okay so if you want to change the price of a, a second product you can change it if you want to select different price for different variation you can set that also now let's save it now let's refresh it now here you will see different variation like we had we have set the price from 400 rupees to 450 rupees so this is how it will be shown now the customer will have to select the option one of them small white okay so it will show the price accordingly if you select black it will change the price also okay so this is this shows 20 in stock you can manage that from here also all right so we are going to add the image for the black one also so this is small black we are going to add an image 
so this is the image for black one now let's add it to the next one also and for the white we already have it so this is how you can control the images also for each product okay now let's save it refresh it now you can see the colors also right now we have selected black so it's showing black if you select white it will show the white also for medium white this is the image for medium black this is the image okay so this is how you can show the variables of a particular product so there are many different settings that we are going to discuss in the upcoming videos so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.